Hello, um, my name is Marita Galvez. I'm at the RN53 class, and this will be my head to toe uh, assessment video. Um, I have Andrea here. She is my patient today. Um, all right, let me start. So, first, I'll be um, hand washing. And then patient privacy, I'll be um, curtain here. Alright. Um, so good evening, my name is Tess and we are a nurse here today. Uh, we will be doing your head to toe assessment. Um, could you verify your last name and date of birth? Barreto and my date of birth is 6 9 1979. Thank you. And I'll be also checking your band if they have a band to uh, verify their name. Okay. So um, I'll be checking your vital signs today. Uh, first, I'll be checking your blood pressure. Hi, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. Yes. Uh, checking uh, her eyes. 
I'll be checking the sym symmetry. I'll be looking directly on the patient's eyes and note whether they are in the same relative position within the eye socket, socket and equal size and shape. Okay, go ahead. All right. All right, so it's... Uh, Equal size and shape, that's good. And I also looked at her eyebrows and eyelashes, and they are good. And I'll be ch uh, checking the conjunctiva. I'll be looking under the, um, the lines of her eyelid. Um, so I'll be pulling it down. All right, they're good. And the sclera, which is the, the white part, it's not red or it's not um, yellow. So that's good. The uh, cornea and the eyes are both clear. And the bilateral pupils, I'm gonna go ahead and be, I'm gonna check that. Go ahead and look right here on the top of my ear. All right. So uh, bilateral pupils are equal, round, reactive to light and accommodation. All right, now I'm going to be asking the patient to do the six cardinal positions of the gaze. All right. So I'm going to have you follow my finger. All right, so that's good. And then now I'll be uh, assessing the vision with the Snellen charts. If I can have you stand up. And it's going to be about 20 feet to the Snellen chart. I'm going to have the patient um, 20, 20 feet apart. I mean, uh, right. <laughs> um, go ahead and read number eight for me. CKDV. And number five. RKS CZHBD. All right. And one last one. Are you able to see number three? Yes, uh, H O C Z R K D S V N. All right, perfect. So go ahead and have a seat again, Peter. All right, so now I'll be checking her ears. Um, I'll be inspecting uh, for any lesions or tenderness. Um, I'll be looking inside to look for any discharge, uh, looking at the eardrums, um, any serum and infection. Okay. So I'll be checking in your ears. Everything looks good, skin looks good, no serum and infection or EWAC. All right, nice. Okay, and then, so I'll be assessing the patient hearing with a whisper test. Um, I'll be asking the patient to repeat a three letter and number word, um, left ear and the right ear. Can you repeat what I'm going to be saying to you? D3S. Alright, so she read that. SC3. Perfect, so she heard that. And now I'll be assessing her nose. Um, I'll be assessing the symmetry of the nose. Ask if there's any pain or tenderness of the nose. Then I'll be checking the nostril and um, check the septum. Any pain and tenderness in your nose? No. no. Okay. So I'll be checking your nostrils, okay? If okay. We didn't have you go. Like Let's see. <laughs> All right. So that's good. Um, can you breathe okay through both your nostrils? Perfect. Um, sense of um, smell intact? Yep. Can smell anything. Okay. All right. All right. Um, so I'll be palpating the sinuses. Um, I'll be touching your face if that's okay with you. Yep. Any pain or tenderness? No. No. All right. Okay, now I'll be uh, checking um, the mouth and the throat. Uh, I'll be checking the lips, the color, and the moist. So it's nice and pink um, and it's moist. Now I'll be inspecting the teeth and gums. Make sure the teeth is intact and no bleeding gums. All right. And no bleeding gums, teeth are, teeth are intact. Um, and I'll be checking the buccal mucosa. Alright, nice and pink. And um, the palate looks nice and pink. The tongue is nice and pink. 
And then the uvula, I'm going to stick out your tongue. All right, so it's nice and round, no swelling, no redness. I also looked at the tonsils. Uh, they are the same size and it's nice and pink, no redness, no swelling. Then um, now I'll be palpating your jaw, your jaw for any pain or tenderness. Let me know if there's any pain, okay? shoulders of the patient um, to check the neck range of motion. Uh, go ahead and um, uh, move your neck. Uh, there you go. And then uh, do a shoulder shrug. All right. Let me see if there's resistance. Go ahead. Perfect. So now I'll be palpating the lip nodes on the head, the face, the neck, and underarms. Um, all right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> all right. Lip nodes good. All right. Good. Uh, now I'll be. Palpating the ne neck and trachea, which I, I just did actually. <laughs> All right. So now I'll be checking the jugular vein distension. It's on the right side of the neck, and no bulging. Um, it's not raised, so that's good. All right. Now um, I'll be checking the lungs and the thorax. Uh, I'll be asking the patient if they can cough or if they have any respiratory, respiratory issues. Okay. Um, go ahead and try to cough for me. <coughs> All right. Uh, any respiratory issues? No, my breathing's fine. Good. All right. Uh, now I'll be uh, listening to the lung sounds in the front and the back. Start with the back first. Go ahead and Alright, good. Alright, so now I'll be checking the 
the gastrointestinal system. I'll be inspecting the abdomen to check the skin. Um, and I'll be listening to the four quadrants for bowel sounds. Uh, I'll be palpating the, uh, the four quadrants. And I'll be asking if there's any problem with the bowel movement or the bladder. Okay, I'm gonna have you um, lay down there. So I'll be um, inspecting your abdomen. I'll be checking the skin. The skin looks good. Um, I'll be uh, listening to the four quadrants of the bowels. Um, uh, bowels for bowel sounds. Bowel sounds are present on all four quadrants. Um, now I'll be palpating the four quadrants for pain and tenderness. Um, let me know um, if there's going to be if there's pain or uh, tenderness. Okay. Any pain? Nope. Any pain? No tenderness. All right. So no pain or tenderness um, on all four quadrants. Um, any problems with the bowel movement or bladder? No. Problems urinating? Okay. Fine. Um, so now I'm going to have you uh, uh, sit up. Now I'll be checking the arms and the hands, uh, assessing the range of motion and the strength in the arms and hands. Uh, I'll be checking all the pulses in the arms, capillary refill tests and the fingernails. Uh, we, to make sure that it's two seconds or less, I'll be checking the skin turgor and I'll be asking the patient if there's any sharp or full sensation on the arms and I'll be checking the reflexes bilateral or upper. Alright, um, so I'll be assessing the range of motion and the strength of the arm. Go ahead and grasp my finger. There you go, pretty good. And go ahead and um, push down, perfect. So I'll be checking the pulses in the arms. First, good. 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 All right. Then I'll be um, checking the capillary refill on the fingernails. Like this for me. All right. Came okay, back two seconds or less. Uh, now I'll be checking the skin trigger. I'm gonna be uh, pinching here. Good. Nice and hydrated. Um, any uh, sharp or full sen uh, sharp or um, any sharp sensation in your arms? Uh, no. I checked the reflexes already. All right, so now I'll be checking the legs and feet. Uh, go ahead and lay down for me there. So the, le the to check the legs and feet, I am gonna check the assess the range of motion and strengthen the legs and ankles. The capillary wrinkles and the toenails. I'll be checking the pulses of the leg and feet and I'll be asking the patient for any sharp pain and those sensation on the legs. I'll be assessing the gait. I'll, I'll be checking also the lower extremity reflexes. Okay. So I'll be uh, checking the capillary people first. Um, I'll be checking uh, bilateral um, toenails. Make sure that the refill come back um, two seconds or less. Good. We checking the pulses. And I'll be checking the pulse um, on the leg. It's behind the knee, it's the top of the teal. All right. Um, any sharp pain or dull sensation in your leg? No. All right. Um, so now, if I can have you uh, um, have a seat again. I'll be checking uh, the reflexes on your knee and behind, behind your ankle. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, so that's good. <laughs> So that 
is all. That's uh, my head to toe assessment. Um, again, my name is Marita Galvez, and this is Andrea, and we're done. Um, so now I'll be um, uh, washing my hands, and that's it. Thank you. I forgot to mention the 12 cranial nerves, um, so now I'll be. Uh... <laughs> oh, there it is. Alright, so cranial nerve number one is the olfactory, which is this stiff test, so the nose. Um, number two is the optic, which is the visual acuity, the eyes. Um, cranial nerve number three is the oculomotor, which is the, the gazes when I told her to go to uh, look up, look down, right, left. The, um, number four is truck clear, truck clear, uh, which is the, the six cardinal gazes again, uh, downward inward movement of the eyes. Number five is the tri, tri line, uh, which is the facial sensation maxillary, so which is the mandibular, the jaw, the muscle strength. Uh, number six is the cranial nerve. Number six is abducens, which is again the six cardinal gazes, the lateral movement of the eyes. Cranial nerve number seven is the facial, which is the puffing out of the cheeks, the smile, and the frown. And number eight is the acoustic, which is the whisper test. And when they whisper the, the, the number letter, um, number nine, which is the cranial nerve number nine, which is the glossopharyngeal, uh, which is the gag re reflex and swallow. Number 10, the cranial nerve number 10 is the vagus, um, which is the coughing and gag reflex. Um, the cranial nerve number 11 is the spinal accessory, which is the shrugging, the side to side movement. Um, the cranial nerve number 12 is the hypoglossal, which is the tongue movement and the strength, the light, uh, light, tight, dynamite. All right, that's it.